video is a follow up to the Bad Girl Survival Knife. I've included some basic items that you may want to carry, whether in your car, your truck, or your boat, in a wilderness scenario, just in case you get lost. But there are also basic essential items that you can carry, such as fire making tools, firecraft, basic boards, different types of boards, water purification, signaling, and the various different tools, such as navigation, wood cutting, and basic maintenance. Now it's always a good idea to carry some tape. Now this is the heavy duty tape that soldiers use out in the field. It's a great item to have. It's item to carry but it, it does take up a lot of weight and it can add a lot of weight to, to your backpack or rucksack so when you're climbing um, it certainly can weigh it down so unless you're sure you can carry it I would only carry a small amount to none at all you might want to keep some basic 550 cord on hand different types of cords uh, which will serve you much better I want to show you some various different quarters that I carry. Each essentially has a different purpose, but one of the most useful items is the uh, the bungee cord. It will it will certainly come in handy for a variety of different uses. Certainly, like placing this tarpaulin up, keeping it secure, securing various different items on your car, truck, or boat. And next is the 550 cord, but you can, but be careful because not all 550 cord is has the same tensile strength, and some of it is is not original. It's not what you intend to buy. Notice by these strands here. Um, however, being it's cordage, it still has use, though it may not have the the tensile strength of most others. Now various different cords. Um, for camping or survival can can also be useful. So always include cordage with your with your kit. And I would recommend that you carry cord cordage all, at all times. It can be used for various different things, like making emergency shoelaces for your boots, for your sneakers, or anything like that. Uh, definitely something that you want to bring along. I'm just videoing some of the gear again. This is not a complete list of the items that you want to carry. Um, it's just some additional components that you may want to consider. Some of these items are available uh, at no cost to you. Uh, you can find them easily and readily around the home. Now, of course, I like to carry the binoculars, but the binoculars is a heavy item and then something that will completely weigh you down um, but these Steiner binoculars are great um, they have their use um, but uh, for a survival situation um, you'd be better off with a, a, a portable magnifying glass um, if you need to start a fire of course the lens can be used for that purpose uh, if it comes down to it uh, but something more likely that you'd want to keep in your car uh, or, or be able to store it if you bring it on on the trek or on your trip. Otherwise, you're going to end up uh, just sharing it, and somebody else is going to carry it, and uh, it may not it may not be worth it. But if you can carry it, know your own strength and limitations, and uh, it might add to the to the trip. When it comes to firecraft, personally, I'd like to take uh, a lot more items than I generally need. The handy items is the Mott's Fire Ribbon. This extra inner cordage from the 550 can also be used at Tinder. Tea lights can be helpful, but I wouldn't rely on them um, for a survival. But taking a couple along can have their uses. Magnifying glass, start a fire, also useful. Uh, 
uh, the strike force flint and steel now these they come in handy these are actually from a tire tube cut up about 50 of them they come in handy to make uh, as tinder to start a fire. Fire sticks, they work reasonably well. So I like to include those. Again, I like to have a little extra on hand just in case. Uh, the emergency whistle is also handy. Got my extra fire, extra matches, strike anywhere matches. You can also include electric cord, a black tape, a whistle, and a signal mirror. Also very handy. And a small compass. Well, as I mentioned already that my focus is usually on being able to start a fire quickly uh, just in case of emergency so I do keep extra fire starting components on hand. Here is a portable one that was made uh, for the purpose of um, having those extra components and tinder all ready to go. Using an Altoid can, I filled it with uh, the little tinder that was in our other component that we saw, the fire sticks. For emergency fire lighting, a little extra book of matches. All stuffed in there. Candles, some additional tinder. Now, I also stuffed the film canister with cotton balls and soaked them with uh, petroleum jelly. Now, that will also facilitate you getting a fire started quickly and it will burn very hot and it will get the fire going much more quicker. So, having either canister cotton balls. Vaseline or even olive oil will help facilitate fire starting. Now, the last thing that you should have is a writing utensil, black tape, colored tape, just in case you have to leave a marker from your position or where you were if you had to leave the area. That would Often it's not recommended that you leave your area if you're in a tough spot. They recommend that you stay put uh, for time unless you absolutely have to leave the area. But this is a good marker. A reasonable knife. Now these are from the MREs. I, obviously it's, um, it doesn't say it anymore but um, it used to be marked as toilet paper. But it can be used both for that and as well as Tinder and um, well, Kleenex, basically. Now the, um, the survival bandana is a useful tool. Obviously, it's more good for um, marking um, color or signaling that, but it has some basic things. Um, my location is about to get wet, so um, I'm not gonna stay too much longer on this, but I think I covered that. Uh, Having additional heavy duty rope too is also a plus on any enemy trip. Um, it's good for hanging, but just securing uh, equipment is what this is mainly used for. Also, having extra clothes on hand, gloves, I don't recommend these gloves, um, um, these leather gloves, but um, if you need to stay warm, just having, uh, in, in a t even in a temperate climate, having uh, a small pair of, of gloves would be useful. Would be 